bouncy, 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 and just a better bouncer overall, if I'm being honest. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We have another video to review. So, in case you missed it, at the Martinsville race, Ross Chastain pulled off one of the greatest moves in uh, NASCAR history. I mean, let's just be honest, it was what it was, especially given the stake was at hand. Uh, and it's just an incredible, incredible deal. That being said, there was also some reaction from the garage that was not so, uh, not so awesome. So we'll get into that as well at the end of the video, and I'll give you kind of my thoughts on that. But without further ado, let's hop into the video. All right, so what you have here is Christopher Bell's win in the race, and that puts him into the playoffs. And then you have Denny, who's in the final transfer spot, and Ross Chastain is behind him. Now, Ross Chastain is a good amount behind him. I'm not exactly sure where this is in the footage, but uh, let's back this up. So this is turns one and two, and you can see Denny. Yeah, one and two. Denny goes in to the corner there, and then let's just do it live. Denny's in, and then he's in. So pretty good distance between the two of them. I would also like to say in my last video, some people complained about the rewinding, fast forwarding, and pausing in these videos, and I can assure you that that is not, that's not going to happen in these videos. It's not going to happen. It's not happening in these videos. I'm not going to do it no more. I learned my lesson. I won't do it no more. Okay, so uh, Chastain is, so we're going into one and two, life's good. Let's watch this thing full speed. Boom, chest ain't in the wall. He goes around, and passes Denny right there. Does he make contact with Denny? From that angle right there, it kind of looks like it, but I'm not sure. And in case you haven't paid attention, Ross and Denny don't have uh, the best relationship. And also, not a lot of people do with Ross. Ross, is, Ross has made contact with a few folks this year. Uh, I think that, that that's, uh, that's fair to say, right? So let's back up right before he hits the wall and does the video game move as they call it so ross where does he make contact first probably about right there probably that's pretty close to it what they don't show you in this video they didn't show it during the pre-race they didn't show anything about this but there there has to be a guy who ross has hired to put his watermelons into a wheelbarrow and take them to the race car for him and then help him get them into the car with him because it takes a pretty good set of watermelons to pull off this move this is not not for everybody you got to have a decent set of watermelons in order to pull this off but anyways so he makes the contact with the wall here and then just absolutely hammers it he said he let go of the steering wheel and just pressed the gas as hard as it would go and around he goes and passes denny okay so let's look at a different view of this thing let's here we are boom into the wall fast i mean this is just nuts this is nuts especially in this car where there's so many things that can break but does he care no does he make contact with Hamlin? If he does, it's very slight. It's very slight. The only thing I would say this probably does to Hamlin is it puts Ross back on his radar from the, you know, the stuff that happened earlier in the season, going into the last race of the season. It's probably not good to be on somebody's radar. Uh, but Denny doesn't, I don't think, I don't think Denny has what it takes uh, to, to try and take someone out. Denny seems like the guy that would try to and then ultimately wreck his own car. But let's back up because I think it's important to state that right about here, Ross's crew was packing up. They were like, not a chance. I showed you the distance between the two cars. There's not a chance that Ross catches up here, right? And then about here, his crew is like, now, now we gotta fix things. Not only do we not only are we out of the chase, now we gotta repair things on the car. What are you doing? You turd. And then I would say somewhere in about the Hera region. Wait a minute. This might this might happen here. Also, look at the guy right here who's ducking. Do we get a full image of him ducking? No reason to duck. And then he catches himself. I think he's ducking. It's hard to really say. 
But that man's got some scared in him. Anyways, Ross comes around. This lady down here is excited about it. And then, boom. Wins the race. Very nice. So let's back up to the crew celebrations. There's a few things to look at here. So this is uh, Ross Chastain's crew. Wait, first off, we got Chris Bell's crew celebrating. They're pumped, right? They're happy. Uh, let's watch this thing in full speed here. Bouncy, bouncy. Eh, I think it was just two. Did we just get two bouncies? Bouncy, bouncy. Uh, bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, okay, so just two bouncies. But, and, and really it looks good here. But if you notice, the guy on the left here is just really not holding up his end of the bargain. He's a little bit out of sync. Uh, and he's just not bouncing as good. It may be a height thing because the guy on the right, considerably taller and just a better bouncer overall, if I'm being honest. Also, a little bit of an assault there. On the left, you see that? Boom. Like, show your excitement, but just like a little bit less... A little bit... Uh, Man, kind of aggressive there, uh, but you know, he's excited. It is what it is. No better way to show your excitement than to push your buddies. So this is Chastain's group. They're watching the points, I would imagine here. They're watching, uh, you know, how the points are going to develop. So they're all happy, and then boom, celebrations a galore. But you know, it's not that easy because I always find something. And right here in the background, my man's with the double, double high fives looking for somebody. Looking for a friend, but he doesn't find anyone, right? So he downgrades right here to just the just the one high five. And then he's swinging for sure, but we have no idea if he ever finds a friend. We have no idea, and that's sad. I hope he did, because this man brought a lot of energy around this corner. How far, I mean, he's celebrating hands up back there, you can see him, and then he comes around the corner, double high fived up, ready for, make, ready for contact with somebody, downgrades it, and... We'll never know. We'll never know if he found a friend. That's sad. <sighs> Watch it one more time. And then we'll, we'll talk about some of these post-race comments. That's not sped up, man. That's him. That's just his. That's crazy. That is one of the best moves I've ever seen in NASCAR. It's exciting. And it's, I would say, innovative, right? Uh, and it's spectacular. But let's talk about Kyle Larson. In his post-race interview, he said, uh, you know, he was asked about the move. Because let's be honest. Close your eyes and just imagine that's Kyle Larson. You can see it. Easy as day. That's got Kyle Larson written all over it. And Kyle Larson's my guy. He's my guy. And what did he say? He said, it's not a good look for the sport. What? First off, I don't like drivers telling fans what a good look for the sport is. Fans are the ones that pay the money to go to the races. And fans are the ones that buy merch. They are the heartbeat of NASCAR. If they liked it, and based on that lady we saw earlier, they did. They did. In reaction on Twitter, everyone loved that move. It is a great look for NASCAR. It's fun. It's exciting. It's awesome. We ain't, we ain't seen that before, really. No, never. So, Kyle's a little off base here. I mean, do we want 42 cars doing that? No, we don't want 42 cars doing that. But you're not going to see that very often. That's a, that's a last chance Hail Mary at Martinsville for the win. Or not the win, but the transfer spot into the next round of the playoffs, the championship round of the playoffs. You're you're not going to see it all the time. It's great look for the sport. And there's a mil if that if they would have broke a toe link or if something would have went wrong in the wall and it didn't work out, people would have been like, oh, what an idiot, what a dumb move. But it didn't play out that way, and it was very exciting. Also, I can't remember who tweeted this out, but I'll try to tag it, post it somewhere in this thing. Uh, he said just pretty much immediately, and I'm not, I can't do this verbatim, but you can read the quote. Uh, essentially, drivers were already talking about how they don't want that to be involved in NASCAR anymore, and how you know that you should lose a spot if you hit the wall. That's the NASCAR I hate. That's the NASCAR I don't like. That's ex that's the dumbest stuff I've ever heard of in my life. What are you talking about? Someone hits the wall and they lose a spot? Are you kidding me? How first off, how impossible to police that would be. Uh, what counts is hitting the wall and losing a spot. Do you have to, does it have to be contact with the wall for over a certain time? I mean, this whole thing is just the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Let Ross have his win. Uh, he deserves it. That was incredible. Uh, come on, guys. I mean, come on. So who do you want to win the championship for? I guess is the, how we should leave this thing off. Comment down below. Who do you want to see to win the championship? I love all the drivers in it, really. This is a great championship race coming up. I guess the dirt side of me wants to see Bell win. But Chastain is uh that that was exciting he deserves it now 
Uh, he now he's he wrecked a few people along the way. Yeah, he has. So he's a marked man. But this NASCAR ain't gonna touch him. They ain't, they ain't gonna do nothing about it. Mark my words. And if they do, I'll make another video and then break it down because that's what I do. I love each and every single one of you. But now I gotta.